that people are working a full-time job and yet can afford to make ends meet. So then, of course, there's this big focus then on in-work poverty is it's becoming a big thing. Um, when we talk about this, there's a couple of different thoughts here. One of them is just give everyone a pay rise. Is it that simple? The other side of it, when we talk about making ends meet, do we just need to readjust our ends? Are we expecting too big a things from life? James Bloodworth, you went undercover, didn't you? This is your kind of forte, all this kind of um, topic. Tell me, where do you stand on this working poverty? I mean, working poverty, it isn't new, but it's obviously getting worse because inflation is, is so high. So in 2016, I went undercover at in many low-wage jobs in, in the UK. And, yeah, you had people working working very hard, but then they were still struggling to make ends meet, and then the taxpayer was basically having to top up their, top up their wages. This is also happening because the cost of childcare is, is very high in this country. So you have people who are having to work part-time and look after children the rest of the time, and then they don't have enough money to make ends meet, so they have to get, claim things like tax credits. And also the cost of rent, because there hasn't been sufficient... Uh, homes built in this country, for example. So the cost of rent, the cost of getting a mortgage is very high. Um, therefore, we're subsidising rents with, with benefits, in, in, but what do you think in, with housing benefits. What do you think is the definition of poverty these days? Well, I mean, real wages have, have gone down because it, it simply means, you know, if I, if I, if I receive a 5% pay rise but inflation goes up by 10%, I haven't actually received the pay rise. So I'll have less money Yeah, but are you next year. poor? Well, it, it depends. I mean, lots of people in this country, there are below the poverty line. I mean, we've seen since in the last nine years, in the last um, yeah, nine years, only the top 1% has seen their pay uh, keep up with inflation. Um, so yeah, many of these people are poor <coughs> and, there's the, and they're having to receive tax credits and the state's having to pick up the tab for employers in many cases. So I worked at Amazon, which is headed by the richest man in the world. It's the biggest multinational in the world. And you had people from there uh, claiming tax credits from the state because they're not being paid enough. That is a, a fundamentally... Um, unjust situation. And I think also productivity is part of this as well. So you, we have very poor productivity in the UK. 